In this video, we're going to use triple integral in uh, spherical coordinates to work out the volume of this ice cream cone. So, um, so imagine this is a sphere of radius one. So, uh, from the origin to here, it's one. So, rho equals one, and the angle here, this angle here, phi, is pi over six. So, this angle here, from the z-axis to here is pi over 6 okay and uh, our job is to work out the volume of this um, in the past we've um, we've seen this so I'm expecting you to be to be able to accept this and um, we now no longer want to work in t in uh, Cartesian coordinates we want to convert it into spherical coordinates but when we work in spherical coordinates this thing here becomes this whole complicated thing here and I'm expecting you to be able to accept this by now. We've done many videos on this. So um, to convert from Cartesian to uh, spherical coordinates, uh, this thing will become this. So it's just a matter of setting up our limits of integration. So looking at this, the inner one, so, uh, so the first one would be rho. So the first one would be the radius. We are integrating um, in, in terms of the radius, we are integrating from 0 to, so we, we're integrating like this, we're moving from 0 to a radius of 1. So we're moving from, we're integrating from, from 0 to 1. And then if you look at the next level, the next level is, um, is phi, so which is this angle here. Well, we're, we're, we're integrating from an angle of zero, remember phi starts with this being at zero, and then we're moving around like this. We're scanning all the way from zero to pi over six. So phi would be from zero to uh, pi over six. So this is from zero to uh, one, and then now looking at theta. So looking at um, looking at theta. Looking at theta, we are doing it like this. Remember, this is theta here. We uh, we are scanning all the way around, and it would be 360 degrees, which is 2 pi. So we're scanning around like this. We're scanning all the way around, so it's from 0 to uh, 2 pi. So in, uh, in terms of theta, it would be from 0 to uh, 2 pi. So the volume is given by this. If, if, if you want to know the volume, it's just a matter of us integrating this. Okay, so that will then take us to um, to here. So it's, now, it's just, now it's just a matter of integrating. So looking at this inner integral here, we need to integrate it with respect to rho. So this is, this is going to be a constant. So when you integrate this, it would be um, rho to the power of 3 divided by 3 which is this bit here and uh, this thing here is just a constant from 0 to 1 from 0 to 1 so uh, so now put 1 into here that will then become this thing here and then take away put 0 into here that will disappear so um, so this whole thing here will then become this so we are now currently here so uh, so now it's just a matter of us integrating it with respect to with respect to phi. So now um, now when you integrate this, it will be minus cos a third. So that will then take us to uh, to here from zero to pi over six. From zero to pi over six. So now put this into here. So remember cos cos of pi over 6, so this is pi over 6 here uh, cos of pi over 6 is 3 over 2 root 3 over 2 and then you divide it by 3 uh, so that would be that would be 6 over 6 root 3 over 6 and then take away uh, put 0 into here cos of 0 is 1 oh, well this whole thing here will then become this thing here um, tidy that up that will then take you to to here and then now it's just a matter of us integrating it with respect to theta so so this whole thing here is a constant 
and then times theta. Put pi over 2 into here, uh, take away 0 into here, and overall the volume would be given by a constant times pi. Okay?